Getting food to go will have a different look and feel this year. That's because the state's ban on styrofoam products has gone into effect. WENY's Marsha Augustin reports on the impact this could have on businesses across the Empire State. Rodney Strange, kitchen manager for the Elba Room, says takeout is at least 50% of their business. They use styrofoam for chicken wings and fried food to go orders. He has no problem changing over from the use of styrofoam products. The problem, he says, is the cost of the alternative products. They are double and triple the cost. For the last two years with the pandemic, small businesses and restaurants especially have been hit very, very hard. And this is just another thing that we're going to have to deal with. And again, we don't, we don't have a problem with switchover, but with the added cost, is going to cut into our bottom line, which is already stressed. Rodney says this added cost may impact customers. They may have to raise the price for to-go orders. Some of these materials that I'm holding cost 75 cents per box. So we're, we're got to figure out what we're going to do, how we're going to save money here in the kitchen to uh, not have to train, uh, move this cost on to the customers. With the new state law that has gone into effect on January 1st, banning styrofoam containers, Rodney tells me they've had to transition into using new containers like these. Rodney explains he's exploring all replacement container options from cardboard to hard plastic. I have to switch back and forth different colors of containers and different, different uh, types uh, to adhere to the uh, styrofoam ban. Uh, so that's, that's becoming a problem too. And on top of that, another issue is they are having a hard time getting these replacement containers, he says. I'd order a couple of cases, then the next time I went to order, they'd be out of stock. Now, businesses that don't follow the law face potential fines of up to $250 for a first-time offense and up to $1,000 for a third violation in a single calendar year. All right, Marsha, thank you.